One of the most common problems with Android is the system UI has stopped error. It has been going on for years and affects all brands and models. There are many things that can cause this error, so there is no one way to fix it. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, refresh your device. When you have a problem with your Android device, one of the first things you should do is to restart it. So, if you get the system UI has stopped error out of nowhere, you need to do a full reboot to refresh the system. There's a chance that this will solve the problem and get your device back to normal. Next, delete updates for the Google app. In the past, some Android users were able to fix the error by removing the newly installed Google app updates. Here's what you need to do. Open the Google Play Store app. Search for the Google app. Select Google. Tap Uninstall. Tap Uninstall to confirm. Next, check for app updates. Checking for app updates is another way to fix this error. Sometimes, old apps can cause problems with your system apps, like the system UI has stopped error message. By default, the Google Play Store should check for updates to your apps and let you know when there are new ones. If you didn't get these alerts, you can check the Play Store app yourself to see if any apps need to be updated right now. Next, clear up cache and data. To fix the system UI has stopped error, try clearing the cache and data. It's easy to clear an app's cache or data. Here's what you have to do. Open settings. Go to apps or something similar if it's not Samsung device. Tap manage app. Locate the app and tap it. Go to storage and tap clear cache and data. Next, update the background process limit. Some Android users were able to fix the error by turning on their phone's developer options and changing the background process limit setting to standard limit. First, you need to make sure that your Android device's developer options are turned on. Here's what you need to do. Open the Settings app. Select About Phone. Select Software Information. Tap on build number 7 times. You may have to enter your PIN or password before unlocking the developer options. Check settings again if developer options is now enabled. Once you've turned on developer options, open the settings app. Tap on developer options. Scroll down and tap background process limit. Select standard limit. Restart your Android device and check for the Android system UI has stopped error. Next, reset app preferences. When you reset the app preferences on your Android device, things like your default apps, app permissions, data access, and others go back to how they were before. To reset app preferences on Android devices, follow these steps. Open the Settings app. Select Apps. Tap the three dots at the upper right. Select Reset App Preferences. Tap on Reset to confirm. Next, update Android. If resetting the settings of the system apps and other apps didn't fix the Android system UI error, you should make sure that your Android platform is running the latest software version. Bugs can sometimes be caused by software that is too old. Keeping the software version on your Android device up to date could help fix the system UI has stopped error. Lastly, perform a factory reset. If none of these work for you, there may be a problem with the software. You could try a factory reset to see if that fixes the problem. Before you do a factory reset, make sure you have a backup of your apps and personal information, and remove your Google accounts. Open Settings app. Scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap reset to continue. Tap delete all to confirm action. Check for the system UI has stopped error again. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.